Okay, welcome back everybody to Bubble Bubble on Game Boy. Second and last part that I'm doing. Again, I just want to show the game. I mean, I already did it on one video, but... I don't know, I feel like showing you more. I'm showing myself some more. Just to see if we can discover new things. I'm wondering, actually, what are those balls that are on the... right above the score? Those are not lives. The lives are on the post screen. The enemies remaining are the number right next to the screen. So I don't know, it's hard to tell. Still two more enemies to go. So yeah, after this I would like to do one or two videos of Bubble Bubble Part 2 on Game Boy again. I already did the playthrough on NES, but just want to see if the same thing as here, if we can actually point out important differences. You know, I, the, the few reviews I actually saw, there's even one that I read on this game, um, bashed this game quite a bit. Oh, we have the letters here. They are very uncommon though. So yeah, bash this game quite a bit essentially because of this scrolling thing that kind of ruins the original experience of Bubble Bubble according to those who I read by the way it is not my opinion but for the Game Boy this is actually pretty okay it wasn't a letter X then it was the lighting yeah, levels are definitely getting more complex Alright, three for the price of one. Feels good. That wasn't good though, me dying. This is my last life, isn't it? So no fuck ups allowed. I actually kill a guy, alright. I should just wait for this guy. Worth it. Oh, uh, was that a snowman? Probably would have given me points, but nothing else. So, yeah, that should be the end. Now there is a password for each level, which is pretty generous. Again, assuming this game actually has 100 levels, just like the original one. I mean, it could take you a few... I wouldn't say hours, but... I think the original game took me a couple of hours, continuing and everything, right away. In, in just some levels I remember getting stuck a little bit, because of this complex platforming at times. Okay, now they're taking a little bit less time to f get themselves free out of the bubble. I remember like I took easily a minute. Oh, okay, those uh, uh, balls that you see are actually the letters of the word extend. I did get a letter X. Okay, I, I got confused at first and I thought it was like the lighting item. I saw both things. Three more enemies. Oh yeah, this is when actually taking a look at this could be very useful. There's one enemy that is kind of near. Are these two enemies? No, only one. So yeah, it's a very good opportunity to actually take a look and make decisions out of what you see in advance. I'm trapped. Alright, that killed one of them. I wish the other one got around. He's kind of around, probably means that the bubble doesn't go up. So I just need to wait. How many lives do I have? Alright, I still can afford a death in case 
I waste too much time, like now, for example. How do I get all the way up? Like that, I guess. But right now I'm super trapped. No, I'm not. I could be super dead. Or maybe win. Now I need to get up again. So this is one of the things that I didn't enjoy out of these games in general. Especially the first game. I mean, the sequels... The, the arcade sequels were pretty... Much easier, I would say. In those respects. Alright, I didn't die. I actually prioritized me killing the enemy instead of getting killed by the ghost. Which is cool. Okay. These are not the Space Invaders. Sometimes it seems like it's a lot of trouble just to burst these uh, bubbles. I wonder why they are not throwing rocks anymore. Sprite limitation? Oh yeah, I remember this item that turned everything into fl well, these are flowers, right? And you could actually get a perfect if you get them all within the time limit. I think I'll be able to get them all, assuming these are the only ones. Or am I missing any? Alright, it might seem like I'm actually missing one. Oh, there is a number. Are these two flowers? In fact, they are two flowers. And I got them all. Alright, interesting. He got the points. Alright, it's cool to see actually features from the original game on this version too and confirm that. On this uh, little... Little gameplay. Okay, I got plenty of lives. Still three more enemies. Not much I can do in that situation though. That's invincibility. That was super close. He could have easily died there. Four enemies only. Alright, they are forcing you to use these things. Alright, let's try to calculate it so we can kill a couple. I kill one. I mean, I don't see any other way of doing it. Alright, that's no... Snowman. What's essentially points. That's not what I meant to do. Or actually, I do have to... So if you burst one open, you're gonna go to the other side. Alright, yeah, this is a perfect puzzle, I guess. Not gonna get anyone with that. Not with that one either. Again, I'm glad I got calculated. So I burst it in the very middle, pretty much. I need a lot of luck, though. To kill all of them at the same time. Wait, did I kill anybody? No, that's a fucking ghost. It's taking too long. I'm gonna get killed on my way down. Yeah, it resets the time and shit, but... Not the biggest fan of that shit. I didn't kill anybody with that self face. Still receiving notifications on my phone of people going live on Twitch. 
Alright, I killed one. And they already hurry me up. Is this the last life? No, it's still kind of for another death. In case accidents happen. Okay, I am actually can jump on that one. Wait, I killed them both? Wow, that was... It would have been more amazing if I killed the four of them together, but yeah, that would be like dreaming of too much, don't you think? Alright, this is the last level I'm doing today. Some other time I can do a full playthrough on a stream or any of the series that I'm doing across the different channels and, and pages in general, including the Twitch streaming. I can do this game and just go all the way to the end. Again, the essence of Bubble Bubble is already featured, including the sequels. It's just a port of the first game that I already did last year. Okay, I got them all. Let's see if I can get all the fruit. Yep, all the delicious points for Chilean Retro Gamer. Alright guys, this is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time playing a little bit of the second game for the Game Boy.